Hello, everybody. This is the lesson video for 5-3, Comparing Ratios. We are going to be using ratio tables to help us solve these problems. If you would like to follow along, this is page 283 and 284 in your book. Um, otherwise, you can just draw it on paper if you'd like to. Okay, so number 11 here says, the ratio tables at the right show the comparison of books to games for sale at Burt's store and at Gloria's store. Complete the ratio tables. Which store has a greater ratio of books to games? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that this is my first column here. So then I'll go times two, times three, times four, times five. We'll do that to this, the top and bottom part of the ratio, so to both parts. So two, three, four, five. So we're just going to go ahead and fill those in. Four times two is eight, 12, 16, 20. So we're going times two, times three, times four times five. We'll continue filling those in. 24 and 30. 10, 15, 20, 25. And then our last one, 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. So now that we've completed our ratio tables, we're good to go to answer the question. So it's asking us, which one has a greater, greater ratio of books to games? So we're looking for one that is larger, right? So we're comparing books to games. Well, I can't make a good comparison unless I have an equivalent ratio to compare against. So since I'm looking for my answer for books, I'm going to compare the games. So I'm gonna look in both of my charts here and see which one is the same. Like, can I find one that has the same number here? I see that they both have 24, so I'm going to circle that ratio. And then I can go ahead and compare the books now. So I can see Bert's store, he's got 16 books for every 24 games, and Gloria has 15 for every 24 games. So it's clear here that Bert has more. So in real time, we would write a complete sentence to answer this, but for now, we'll just say that Bert's store is the one that has a greater ratio of books to games. Looking at the next one, it says the ratio of soy sauce to lime juice in a homemade salad dressing is seven to six. The ratio of soy sauce to lime juice in a store-bought dressing is 11 to nine. Which ratio, sorry, which dressing has the greater ratio of soy sauce to lime juice? So we're going to go ahead and fill in our ratio tables just like we did on the previous problem. Times two, times three, times four, times five. So 14, 21, 28, 35, 12. Oh my gosh, my brain went crazy for a second. <laughs> okay, so fill those in. We'll do the same thing over here. So first thing is complete your ratio table. 9, 18, 27. 36, 45. All right, and just like the last problem, we're going to compare the ratios, but we need to find out what is it asking me. I really want to find out which one has a greater soy sauce, so I'm going to compare lime juices. So I'm going to look at my ratio table to find the one that has the same quantity. I can see here they both share 18. So those are the ones I'm going to be looking at. Okay, and which one has more soy sauce? Well, the store-bought one does because it has 22 and this one only has 21. So we'll say for our answer, we would write a complete sentence. So store-bought though, for now, in our video, we'll say store-bought had the greater ratio of soy sauce to lime juice. And this is the last one we'll look at together. It says one bouquet of flowers has three milkweeds for every five tick seeds. Another bouquet has four tick seeds for every five canna lilies. If both bouquets have 20 tick seeds, which bouquet has more flowers? So we've already started by putting our original ratio in and what two things that we're comparing. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fill in our ratio table, just like we have in the previous problems. Okay. Okay, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Now it tells us in our, in our problem, it says if both bouquets have 20 tick seeds, which has more flowers. 
So I'm looking for the one that says 20 tick seeds. So I'm going to say, here's tick seeds, here's 20. So I'm using this ratio. Let's get a different color here. Okay, and then on this one, tick seeds, 20. I'm going to use this ratio. So looking at the two, which bouquet has more flowers? Well, it looks here pretty simple. This one has 12 and this one has 25. So this one here is our clear winner. So we would write down tick seeds. The one, the bouquet that has 20 tick seeds will have more flowers and canna lilies. Okay, pretty simple. The only thing I would suggest is when you're working on your problems today is when you're making your ratio table, when you're starting off, this first part of the T chart, T chart should be the items that you are comparing. So in the first problem on our assignment for today, we're comparing salt and water. So instead of just putting one to three, blah, 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 you are actually the first, very first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're writing your units so that you can put your ratio with the correct part. And then you can continue on with your ratio table. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me um, via email or in person. Anyone's fine with me. Um, this is a bunch of fun. Hope you guys have a good time doing it.